Now let's take what we know. We're going to create a calculator that the user can enter two numbers and they can enter a operator like addition, subtraction, etc. And they'll be able to get a result based on what they entered, which is going to involve us scanning two numbers, um, which isn't much different than one. So we're going to keep what we have. And we're going to expand on this. So on line seven, we have var num int. We now need two different nums. So num1, comma, num2, int. So now I'm declaring both num1 and num2 and initializing them to zero. And you can see it's declared but not used. So this is fine on line seven. And now here, I need to say scan and num1. So we're pointing to that memory address and num2. Now we're pointing to the num2 memory address also. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna ask the user for two different numbers. And I'm also gonna change this to println just to make it less confusing. Let's save that. Um, we're gonna see that this here is a problem. So let's do num1, num2. Okay, so we're gonna print out both numbers that they entered uh, after they scan them for now, and then we'll get into the calculator bits. We still have our error handling here. If either of these is not an int, we should panic with an error is the goal. Um, so let's give this a try. So again, same concept as before, we're just declaring two nums now to zero, passing them both, passing references of both of them to scan, uh, and filling the values with whatever the user inputs. And then we're going to print both of those values. So let's let's start there. We run it. Okay, enter a number. 300. Let's enter a second one. 400. Okay, and you can see your number entered. These need to be numbers, right? So numbers entered. Enter two numbers. So let's let's do that. 300. <laughs> enter two number. That's okay, your number's entered. All right, so enter two numbers like this. Save it. And now what we wanna do, let's start with just an add, adding of them. So again, the functions that are declared don't have to be in any particular order. As long as you use it in main, you'll be good. So we can say func, and I can declare this above or below the handle error function, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna say add numbers to start. You've seen this before, add nums. Um, similar concept, but now we're gonna pass in these two numbers that the user entered. So we're gonna say num1, num2. These are both ints, and we're gonna return an int like that. So we can return num1 plus num2. So we've created our own little function called add nums. So the user enters two numbers here, they get scanned, and we want to print the results. So let's change the insides of this, and let's say something like, <coughs> your total is, and we don't need a space there, comma, and then we can say add nums, and we pass in the two numbers here, so num1, num2 that the user entered. So add nums will return a number which will be printed here as the second println argument. Uh, I'll show you another way to do that in just a second. So save that. Uh, let's run it. Enter two numbers. 300, 400. Your total is 700. Good. Um, now of course we can, I think it would make more sense to declare it as a total up here. Total equals add nums num1, num2 like this. And then down here, we'll print the total. So total, save it. So now we are scanning. Um, if there's an error, we handle that. We assign the total of the two scan numbers to total and we print it. Run it. Enter two numbers, 400, 500. Your total is 900, perfect.